Hi, well look at who is back to join us here on the Butler Buzz, my dear friend Jean Bowen with the Center for Community Resources. And Jean, we know what time of the year it is. Oh, tax time. <laughs> it's tax time, right? <laughs> and today we're actually going to talk about the really amazing and wonderful program and service that Jean oversees at CCR, and that's the VITA program, which if I remember, Jean, it stands for Volunteer Income Tax Assistance? Correct. All right. So, Jean, welcome back. Thank you. All right. So Pleasure you to be here. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. So, Jean, for those individuals who have never heard of the VITA program, what is it all about? It is free income tax preparation for the low-income families, 50000 or less. Okay. And it's totally free, and you can... Get all your taxes done. You can. You're federal and you're state. We don't do the local, but we do federal and state, and we e-file both of them. That's very important to have your taxes e-filed nowadays. Okay, yeah. I would think it's almost mandatory these yeah, days, right? Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. So all federal and state, uh, state tax forms, right. you will help individuals fill out. Right. And they need to be not making more than $50,000 a year. I just want to make sure everybody heard heard that yes, correctly. Yes, yes. 50000 a year. And there's some things you need to bring with you. But when you make your appointment, we'll read you the list of what to bring with you. Okay. Okay. And so they can call an appointment line, make an appointment, and we'll take it from there. Yep. And we'll make sure that that our audience knows what uh, what appointment line to actually call. Is VITA, I, I know it isn't, but I know that VITA is not a new program. How? What year? How long has this been going on? This is my 14th tax season. Really? And it it was in Butler for a couple years before I started. Okay. So you've been doing this a long time. You like numbers, yeah. Jean. I love numbers. Oh. <laughs> so individuals that want to get their taxes done, they call, they make an appointment, and then what? can you kind of like walk us through the process? Okay. So when you call, we're going to ask you a few questions to make sure you meet the IRS VITA Qualifications. Qualifications, yes. So they set the limits for us. We just abide. Follow them. We just abide by them, and um, they provide our software also. So we have no control over that. We okay. use the software they provide us. So we train about forty-five to fifty-five volunteers. We do. We're happy to say we have fifty-five volunteers this year. Oh, what a blessing! Huh? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to get volunteers. They have fifty-five. That's awesome. It is awesome. Um, 27 of them are Slippery Rock College students. Three of them are BC3 students. Great. So, so you're supporting the local colleges, helping them to get good experience. Are they coming Valuable from uh, those students? Are they coming from like accounting, finance backgrounds? Yeah, they're business students. Most of them are accounting students. Okay. Um, Slippery Rock requires them to take their tax class before they'll let them do the VITA program. Okay. So that they get um, they do get credit for doing it at Slippery Rock. Oh, so, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So now we have 55 volunteers and we're, so a person would call in, they make an appointment, you go through the guidelines to make sure they qualify. Then the, you know, the logistics, they get placed with an individual that actually will do that. So now they have an appointment. Where are they going? They, we have five different locations that they can go to. Okay. Um, we're moving our downtown office, which people are that's familiar where, with. Yeah, people are very familiar with it. That's where we do the majority of our returns. We are moving that to Clearview Mall, and we are so excited because Wonderful. parking abound. Yeah, right. No right. tickets when you park <laughs> at the Clearview Mall. So the main location is going to be at the Clearview Mall. You mentioned five locations. Where are the other four? The other four are Cranberry Township. Okay. At the Municipal Building in Cranberry Township at Slippery Rock University on Elm Street, across from the fire station. Okay. At St. Luke's down on Hannestown Road. Okay. And Harvest Community Church in Catanning, PA. Wow, so are you all over these places, Jean? I am, I travel. Oh. I travel well. <laughs> <laughs> so last year, or the years previously, how many returns were you guys doing? Uh, last year, we did 1,860 returns. Previous to COVID, we were doing about 2,300 returns. Wow. But COVID limited people, you know, getting out. limited people getting out and limited us doing in-person. I am proud to say we are going back to in-person returns this year. And okay. happy to do it that way. Oh, I'm sure. And what a wonderful service. I mean, this... this can be overwhelming for a lot of individuals it and then can. they just kind of say you know what i'm just going to put it to the side and now you don't have to because you have help your volunteers do you have volunteers that have come back over the years 
We we have about uh, 18 volunteers that come back every year. I'm so pleased that they do because they're such a blessing and a help to our college kids. Right. You know, the mentoring is is abound in our program, and we're happy to have that. Yeah, so you're providing a lot of different services, right? We are. Yes. Now, are, <clears throat> once, is it people actually making appointments like today? They are. For like next week or whatever. Yeah. So it's happening now. It's happening now. The appointment line opened on the 18th. Okay. And as of when I left work today, we had made about 70 appointments already. Oh, wow. And is there a deadline when this is going to kind of end? Um, the IRS deadline is April 18th. Our deadline is April 15th, just so we have all our returns complete. sent. Yeah, complete yeah. and sent in. Well, I'm glad to see you before you got too busy. <laughs> thank you for everything thank that you, you do. And thank you for listening. Thanks for watching this episode of The Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.